Good. Joe, uh, just ask for your immediate response to the defeat, and afterwards, if you could, just give us a bit of an update on uh, injuries and Jack Conan's situation. Yeah, I, I think I'd, I'd like to, first of all, congratulate the Japanese for the energy, intensity, the skill they brought to the game tonight. Uh, they are a big team, and they play big, and they were very difficult to contain. Um, I felt we probably controlled the first quarter reasonably well uh, to go 12-3 up, two tries scored. Uh, you know, it's probably exactly what we'd asked for. Um, but the longer the game went, the, the more um, oxygen they got from penalties and from the, the skill that they showed. And um, you know, you've, you've got to commend them for that. It's not the first time we've seen them do it. It's not a surprise to us that they were incredibly tough to beat. And, uh, you know, the, the, the quality even of Michael Leach coming off the bench, I thought he really added value as well when he, when he came on. Um, Yutamura and, and uh, Lafayette, I thought they got a, a bit of an armchair ride. We got penalised for a few offsides and then we became he hesitant. And once we became hesitant, we couldn't really put the same pressure on them as they were putting on us. And they got a, a, a real roll on. So... that. That's, that's a tough, tough defeat for us to take, but um, I think the strength of the team will be how they respond and how they re rebound from this. Um, a six-day turnaround into this game was, was a little bit tough, and, and we've got a five-day turnaround now into the Russian game in Kobe on Thursday, so that, that, will, that will be another challenge for us. Um, from an injury perspective, I, I think uh, Rob, Rob Carney, I just spoke to him in the corridor, he's, he's got a, a decent shiner. But uh, he, he's, he's feeling OK now. He failed his HIA, as far as I know. So he will, if he doesn't pass his HIA 2 and HIA 3, he, he will be a confirmed concussion, and that will rule him out of the, the Russian game. Uh, Jack Conan. Unfortunately, Jack Conan has a, a fracture in his foot, and he will return home to Ireland tomorrow. Uh, Joe, before the game, you you um, you said you looked forward to being able to put some width on the ball, and the stats sheet show that show that you have, I think, seven offloads and maybe a couple other which weren't completed, which is above your offload rate for normal. Was this the game to play a more risk risky sort of open game against these opponents in their conditions? No, we, we didn't go out with an explicit. Um, idea of playing I any differently from the way we would normally play and I think you know the way that we started the game is the way that we play the game and I felt we got some good line breaks we got in behind them we scored two tries we were putting pressure on and uh, I think Rob Carney's try was on the back of two penalty advantages that we had because we were putting the pressure on and, and Japan were under pressure Unfortunately, that reversed as, as soon as they got hold of the ball. Um, and we missed, we missed a couple of marks. I think we got a couple of maybe two lineouts in the second half. We didn't get too many platforms to play from. And uh, they kept the ball for very long periods. フリーランスの向井と言います。えっ、ー、とキャプテンにお伺いします。えっ、ー、と最初敵陣で相手日本のペナルティをしたときにショットではなくトライを狙いに行った背景というのと、あとラストワンプレーでえっ、ー、とタッチを蹴って試合を終わらせた意図その二つお願いします。Yeah, look, I think it's it's something that that we've done for a number of years now. We if the penalty is is within a certain area that we've talked about before the game, by all means, we, we'll go for posts. But at the same time, if it's, if it's in an area where we feel that there, there's doubt over the kick, we, we'll go to the corner. It was the same last week. And um, look, I think, in fairness to Japan, they, they defended quite well. We also got um, certainly one of the tries came from going to the corner. Um, so look, look, that's the way we play. We, we back ourselves to go after teams. Um, but at the same time, if the penalty is, is there for the taking, we'll take it. I think once they went four points ahead, it probably forced our hand a little bit and, and we had to go to the corner.
Joe, just on the final play, um, were, you, were you happy with the decision to get the ball off the pitch? And do you think that the bonus point obviously could be very important? Yeah, potentially uh, the bonus point could be really important. Um, it means that we've got six points from, from our pool, two pool games so far. Uh, Japan have got nine. Um, and then Samoa have got five. So they're the ones who've got points so far. And you know you've got to finish in the in the top two. So keeping that bonus point allowed us to stay in front of Samoa in the short term. And we've no doubt that that Scotland will be a player, and Russia will line us up in five days' time. As I said, uh, those those tight turnarounds are, are pretty tough going, and um, we we will uh, kind of I, I I suppose have to chase a, a little bit now because we, we want to stay in, a, in with a chance of, of topping the pool. Certainly we've got, to, we've got to get in the top two. Uh, Joe, you mentioned the six-day turnaround there and the players did seem to maybe fade out of the game a little bit. Hindsight's great, obviously, but in hindsight, would you have made more changes to the team to, to freshen it up? Um, yeah, it's hard to say. I think that the uh, the players like CJ and and um, James Ryan they were still delivering at the end. I I think we tried to have a very easy start of the week. Uh, we had a light training on Tuesday. Um, our only real full training was on Thursday. So those players felt really well recovered, and. Um, you know, because we had a few changes in the back line, we wanted to keep a little bit of continuity up front, and that was that was the decision you make. I think hindsight is always a, an advantage, but I, I'm not sure we would have done it too too differently. Joe, I think Jamie Joseph, the most the most 指導者ってあなただと思うんですけどあの実際にこうゲームを見てみてこう日本のチームのパフォーマンスっていうのはこう考えてた通りだったんでしょうか何かこう予想以外のもの予想以上のものっていうのがあったんでしょうなあ no, I, I don't think the Japanese performance exceeded my expectation unfortunately um, we expected them to be as good as they were. We knew that they were going to be incredibly tough, um, and so it proved. I think they, as I mentioned earlier, they have uh, a very good engine room um, with the with the tight five forwards. Their uh, their back row were very very effective. Um, as I said, when uh, Amanaki Murphy went off and and Michael Leach came on, I think he added a little bit more. But Himeno was was very good again. And um, I thought Luke Thompson, you know, came in and, and added a bit of value as well. Um, and in, in the backs, even, um, you know, I, I guess across the board, we found them a real hand, handful. Obviously, uh, Matsushima was a danger. Lemeki ended up starting and, and was, uh, was a handful. So across the board, they've got quality players and they play a quality style of game and they're very hard to contain. And I, I would say that I, I think that... They tend to clean the ruck very, very deep, and it allows them to get onto the front foot, and uh, that is very, very hard to stop. We're, we're kind of playing off, a, an, a, I suppose, a defensive line, maybe two metres behind where the initial tackle happens, and then, then to get back off that defensive line is very hard to turn around the, uh, the momentum of their attack. Uh, so they did that really well. Um, and so you've got to congratulate them for the way that they played today. And I, as I say, I don't think it exceeded expectations. It unfortunately met my expectations. Time for two more questions. First one in the front here. Uh, Joe, there was nine penalties conceded by Ireland. Did you think they were fair calls? And how, do you, how did you assess Ireland's performance in that area? Um, yeah, we'll go back and have a look at it. I, I certainly understand the, the frustrations of uh, you know some of the players and in, in, in discussing things with them based on what I saw on the monitor, um, and you know it, it's it's not too dissimilar from the last time we had this referee. So we we'll go back, we'll go through the official channels, and we'll we'll make our comments to 
to the the referee body rather than making any any public uh, kind of comment. Last question. What was the biggest disappointment about today and what do you hope to see from the players in response in this short turnaround? Yeah, the, probably the biggest disappointment is obviously to score two tries in the first quarter and not to add to that um, is, is incredibly disappointing. Um, we put ourselves into a couple of positions where we felt that we were in uh, close enough and, and putting real pressure on and we got quite close and then um, didn't didn't actually capitalise. Uh, we turned one over in the second half. There, it, it was very hard for um, us to get the ball placement. We were on top of the tackler, and and uh, you know I, I thought that was pretty tough. But you've got to be tough enough to cope with those things, and certainly um, we, we've got to be better at what we're doing. And we've got to demonstrate that in five days' time. So we're not going to get a lot of time to put anything together. I think we're doing an open session in Kobe on Tuesday and that will be the only training we'll have in the lead up to Russia who have already proved themselves to be very, very physical and uh, very combative, very competitive. Uh, they, they stayed in the game for a long time with the Japanese. So you know, that, that's, that's a measure of uh, how competitive they can be. And even in the Samoa game, while they lost that game, they, they actually had a lot of the game a uh, lot of the ball and put Samoa under a lot of pressure. So we're anticipating another really tough game in five days' time and we're going to have to dust ourselves off and certainly perform better than we did tonight. Thank you very much.